Seafood export plays a major role in the foreign exchange earnings of India. During 2009-2010, we earned around 10,000 crore rupees through seafood export. Now, consumers are more quality conscious and concerned about the safety and health hazards of food products. The stringent rules and regulations of the importing countries on quality standards of the imported marine products also point to the need of producing best quality products. it is highly essential to ensure the hygienic standards of the fish products which we process and export. Major share of the fish export from our country is coming from the sea caught materials. In India, fishing is mainly undertaken by mechanized boats and traditional wallums. Fish being a highly perishable food item requires careful handling right from the sea till it reaches to the consumer's table. In order to ensure the quality, fishes should be properly handled, iced and taken to the harbour for sale at the earliest. Pre-processing centers are the area where fishes are handled for quite a long time before it is taken to the factories. The implementation of thorough cleaning and sanitizing routine along with hygienic handling at pre-processing centers is highly essential for the production of consistently high quality seafood products. Such products only can earn us better prices through exports. Let us see what are the facilities required in a model pre-processing center. The center should have a compound wall to prevent the entry of stray animals. Premises of the pre-processing center should be kept clean devoid of any litter. Materials have to be transported from harbors to pre-processing centers only in insulated vehicles. The raw material receiving area of the pre-processing center should have sufficient slope to drain the water dripping from the vehicles while unloading the material. There should be properly covered drainage channel to drain away the waste water. Fish should be taken to the receiving room only through the raw material receiving chute. The receiving chute should have air curtains to prevent the entry of flies into the hall. Fish taken to the receiving area should be transferred immediately to the chill room from where it can be taken to pre-processing hall as per requirements. The pre-processing hall should be constructed in such a way so as to enable easy cleaning of its floors and walls. There should be arrangements for providing sufficient light and air inside the hall. Separate areas should be provided for keeping raw materials, peeled materials, wastes, utensils, etc.
Tables made of non-rusting materials should be provided for peeling. Stainless steel tables are the best choice for this. Provisions for the supply of good quality water as well as drainage of waste water should be made on the table. All the utensils used in the pre-processing hall should be made of stainless steel or plastic. The doors to the pre-processing hall should be of self-closing type. The pre-processing hall, tables, utensils and all other equipments should be thoroughly washed using detergents and disinfected using chlorinated fresh water before and after peeling. The foot dips and hand dips should be filled with fresh water and chlorinated to 100 ppm and 20 ppm respectively. The water in foot dips and hand dips needs to be changed occasionally. The workers coming to the pre-processing center have to change their dress and remove ornaments they wear. All such personal belongings should be kept in the change room. Before entering the pre-processing hall, they should wear clean uniforms, headgear and mouthpiece. Care should be taken to remove fallen hairs and any other unwanted materials from the uniforms before entering the hall. Hands of workers should be cleaned without any cuts, wounds and nail polish. Before entering the hall, all workers should clean their hands using fresh water and soap. Taps that can be operated with legs should be provided at the entrance for this. Foot should be cleaned by dipping in foot dip provided in front of the door to the pre-processing hall. For disinfecting, dip hands properly in the hand dips kept inside the entrance of the hall. Peeling should only be done on tables. By no means, peeling should be done on the floor. It can contaminate the material. Use clean gloves while handling the material. Also ensure proper icing of the material while peeling. The material once peeled should be washed and cleaned thoroughly. Then it has to be transferred to clean crates and iced using enough quantity of good quality ice. This peeled material should be stored in the chill room until it is transported to the processing factory. The wastes should be properly disposed of through the waste disposal chute provided inside the hall. There should be a separate area to wash utensils. After work, all utensils should be washed thoroughly in detergent water and then disinfected by rinsing in chlorinated water. Keep the cleaned vessels stacked on the designated racks or tables and never keep it on the floor. Tables, floors and walls should be cleaned thoroughly and disinfected using chlorinated water. Drainages should be cleaned by removing the covers. The drainage ends should be netted to prevent the entry of rodents and other animals. Above all, each and every worker at the pre-processing center 
has to follow strict personal hygiene throughout the whole process. Only if we handle fish with responsibility and care, we can export best quality seafood products to the highly competitive foreign markets and earn good prices for our products.